inner just listen to what you just said like I'm not a funny person on the spot I'm funny in conversations um, you know there was all this kind of like uh, kind of like like self limiting thing whereas the truth of the matter is I don't believe that I think if if you know, you put in hours uh, at, at studying, you know, improv, if that's what you were motivated toward, uh, that the nerves would eventually start going away. The familiarity is, you know, kind of comforting. And then, you know, of course, every time you get up there, it, it's um, it's a risk, but you start getting kind of addicted to that risk. Yeah. Um, at first, when you start studying, there's a lot of rules and there's a lot of technique and, and you get very in your head. But eventually, just like with acting, you have to throw that aside, know that it'll be there to support you when you need it, and have fun and be comfortable before you're comfortable. Yeah. But that doesn't happen in one class or two classes or, you know, it, it happens at different levels for, or at different time frames for different people. Um, but I, I'm very much about the inner game of improv because I just see how people, myself included, yeah. We'll um, talk ourselves into uh, a category or a pigeonhole or um, a limitation, and and then the, then the, then you have a limitation. You yeah. know, if you think there's a problem, then there's a problem. If yeah. you don't think there's a problem, there's no problem. Yeah. And whatever does arise that's unexpected, you deal with it. You know, it's but all mental. It's completely mental. Hey guys, thanks for watching our latest clip. Um, we hope you liked it. Hope it was helpful. Uh, if you want to hear the whole episode, be sure to get it on iTunes. You can just click it, subscribe. It's free. It's great. It's awesome. We love you. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>